I don't think on this day our society begins its expansion game. You're doing it wrong. Hello, folks. Welcome back to uh, Let's Get On With It Galactic Civilizations 2 Twilight of the Arnor, where we now rank third in the power ranking of top 12 most powerful civs. The, Dr uh, the Terran Alliance is four, which uh, makes me wonder everybody else fucking sucks. Oh my god. Seriously? I mean, I just took their capital, and really? Tits or get the fuck out, children. Tits or get the fuck out. <sighs> Alrighty. So, uh, last time we left off, we were pretty much clubbing the shit out of our opponent. Very happy about that. What do we have here on this planet? We have the Restaurant of Eternity, which, you know, is now not so necessary. Although, I mean, that 20% bonus stacks on with all of my influence gaining features. So all of that new influence I gained from having the planet Earth. Yeah. You know, I've just been thinking, though. I haven't really... I, I haven't really uh, built any of the other technological cap... Uh, any of the other capitals. Like an epic not economic capital and a technological capital. I should do that. Uh, you should really look to try and specialize your planets to uh, what produces the best, and likely that does not involve you sticking all of your capitals on one planet. However, I'm a bit of a, a, a soft spot. I have a bit of a soft spot whenever it comes to uh, promoting the uh, the home planet, and I will usually make uh, in-game sacrifices of efficiency and whatnot just to improve the whole world. It is with that in mind that we will be in increasing. The economic bonus and also uh, research. We'll be sacrificing two research centers to do this. Uh, Planet will just have to get over it. If I could, I'd, I'd more than love to uh, relocate these buildings, the diplomatic translators, to uh, a smaller planet where uh, you know there are few spaces. So it doesn't. I mean, I've got to make the most use of those tiles somehow. On huge planets, I mean, you want to try to get the most bang that you can, and having these does not really help you get that said bang. But at the time, you know, the diplomatic translators in the Galactic Bazaar were extremely useful, and I felt I needed those, and so the Restaurant of Eternity. It's hard for me to say how successful I would have been in this game without those, because I you mean, I only had one planet. Now, if I had, you know, fixed things right, so... I actually had two habitable planets in my system. Well, there you go. But then this would have fewer spaces, so what the fuck. I could have rigged my planet to be like a class 50 planet. Ho 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 ho. Okay, folks. Um. Oh! Mars went off of its, uh. Its rebellion. Wow. I was thinking that maybe. <coughs> I would uh, change my mind about deciding to capture it because, uh, I mean, it would revolt on its own, but it appears that uh, Jenna fixed that. You know, congrats to her. Congrats. But uh, that means I'm just going to have to crush her soul. Alrighty. She has three heavy fighters in defense. They have Pew Pew. She also has a scout ship and a space miner. I'm pretty confident my uh, my ABC and oh that's a doom of Iconia. That is, that's not useful. Wait 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 wait. Do we not build a ship for this? We did. We built an ABC. Yabba dabba dooba doo doo. Hmm. Ah. Uh, oh oh. It appears that uh I still will not be able to fuse these two together in a fleet. Damn it. I'll be able to stack uh, two mini crabs, but uh, yeah, that is unfortunate, folks. Most unfortunate. Also, he has a lot of health. That's amazing. I approve. So, ah, uh, I think one, two, three, four, five. I think an ABC should be able to take out three heavy fighters. Scout ship has nothing. And the space miner has nothing, so I I'm hoping it works out in my favor, folks. If it doesn't, well, 
fuck. <laughs> Mini crab. Oh man. So so uh, I've been reading the comments you guys have been sending me, and uh, you folks are really getting a kick out of the crab battle thing. I'm glad you guys have enjoyed it so much. I'm uh, not quite sure what spawned me to go into super crab mode. Uh, I was talking about it with a friend of mine today, and uh, <laughs> that's the uh, see it, it, for those of you who don't know on the internet, there's a movie called uh, Crab Battle, which is a uh, Mox uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Came out on the internet about four five years ago. It was in 2005. And I watched it a few times then, but I hadn't really seen it after that. And I've never been a big fan of the Metal Gear Solid games, although I have watched the full Let's Play of, uh, of Metal Gear Solid 3 and immensely enjoyed that. Anyway, uh, we should win this. <laughs> if we don't, I'd be extremely surprised. 12 to 3 advantage, but, I mean, the soldiering tech. Yeah. I, uh... But anyway, yeah, um, over the past few months, uh, just listening to my few, uh, a few of the, the, my acquaintances on the internet just mention crab battle to each other, and, uh, I mean, it hadn't been for, uh, it, it's been a long time since they did it, but I've just had crab battle stuck in my head since then, and so all of a sudden whenever I play this game, I'm, I just get inspired to, uh, to crab battle. Uh, for those of you who are interested, uh, the movie is extremely, the, the little flash video featuring a snake in crab battle is extremely hilarious. Well, <laughs> yeah. You just, uh, had to watch it yourself, but I do highly recommend it. So what do we have here? Holy crap. Holy guacamole. That, that's a lot of, uh, doodad things. I think we're gonna have to take advantage of all of those, uh, the, the, no, it gets four tiles to improve to? Holy crap! What is this? This is rigged! <laughs> or pure genius, I cannot decide. Multimedia center, and then we will, uh, build something to increase our diplomatic ability. How fitting that would be on a Terran planet, right? It's gonna take 62 weeks, but uh, 62 weeks is better than no weeks. We should also, I think I'll get rid of this uh, starport and instead build another manufacturing center. Seems like it'll be reasonable to me. I am also not in the money anymore. Most unfortuitous. <laughs> Crab battle. One, two. How well did he do? Oh, wow. <laughs> Also, it appears I forgot that, uh, oops, I forgot that a mini crab was in this fleet, which is why I bumped my logistics to eight, which means it would have fit that ship in it just fine. I, I made a totally careless mistake, but completely understandable since I'm actually retarded. Uh, yeah. <laughs> True story, folks. I'm a moron. This just in. Grimmoth Jack Reaper events to being... Invents to being? You see? This is the proof in the pudding. This is... <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I think we can stop building uh, ships now. I really do. I think we got this. Uh, so, uh, let's... Yeah. No more focus on building ships. I promise. Uh, really? Dum de dum dum. Instead, we will uh, kick back to make a kick back. Yeah, spending like that, and we will reduce our uh, military rate to a mere ten percent. That that seems sufficient enough, so that we'll slowly make progress on building new ships, so that we can build up that little bar for whatever nefarious purposes I deem require to sustain. My ever increasing empire. <sighs> this has one more class. 
damn it. Let's just, uh, I'm just calling through planets, looking to optimize, folks. Armor battle crabs in 154 weeks. Hmm. How about with your two, uh, your two shields? Just build nothing there. Just, 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 just don't. It's for the best, really. I'm also thinking that, uh, I will be scrapping, uh, building... Ship speed from this planet increases research done on this planet. Wait. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> I think... Well, I guess it does. Holy crap. I ain't, uh, I'm gonna have to build stuff here now. Uh, like ships. I didn't fully read the description of that. That that sounds highly useful. Um, we're also going to... Uh, my thought was we're, that we're going to turn these research centers here and the cultural exchange centers to further increase my the influence points that I uh, acquire from this planet. Also, woohoo! Another civilization capital! I am awesome! We definitely need to work on building some ships here. Mmm, no we don't. 10% expenditure does not really help on that. Let's finally end the frickin' turn. Whoa! Whoa, horsey, whoa. I don't know where the hell you think you're going. But, uh, I do not approve. What a, your fleet, oh my. Here's, uh, my computer feels like being, uh, slower than usual today. But, you know, at least it's functional. I... It's hard to ask for much more. Let's... I can just go ahead and destroy these, I think. Or, I mean, they could culturally revolt as well. They should. Yeah, so I'll keep them there for the time being. Have this guy go over to sit on Earth. Sit on, haha. -ha. He appears to be targeting the Yor fleet? Or she, rather. I reckon they're at war. Holy fuck. That is a clusterfuck there. But it's, uh... It looks cooler than whenever the Iconian Refuge was in the, the mix. The Terrans are at war with everyone except for the Dominion of Kor and the Draft Legion. The Yor are at war with... Damn. The Yor are gonna... The Yor will... Well, then again, the Yor are still at war with three other civs. The Altarians and the Torians are still dominant. Or they've gained their dominance against him. See, look at that. The Altarians and the Torians are those green and blue bars there. And I am third. Economy-wise, whoa. Research, whoa. Influence, <laughs> Oh yeah, folks. And population, uh, with three uh, civilization capitals at my disposal, I should be able to handle population growth. Fine, just fine. Hmm. Probably not going to be able to get that influence resource back. Unless I believe! I'll build that, and hopefully I'll be able to make something out of it. Anyway, I think I'll actually get on with killing these guys. Although, I may just as easily leave your fleet to deal with them. Holy crap! Damn! Uh, mass drivers can be extremely powerful, folks. But, uh, if or when I ever get around to fighting the Yor Fleet, the Yor Collective, I have enough armor research done that I can deal with that. Very finely. Very finely? Whatever. I'll just kill this thing and be done with it. Thank you. Awesome. Woohoo! The ABC leveled up. Alright, ABC, just go back to the planet. Huggles and Rainbow Kittens. Woohoo! Another ABC. Do you know your ABCs? I know my ABCs. They are awesome! Awesome, awesome. 
Bottle crab. I forgot about these. <laughs> Oops. Well, uh, next time I will uh, hopefully not forget about the rest of my military. I'll probably have to go own somebody with it. Who knows who it will be? Stay tuned.